And we're back! Oh yeah! Yep, time for a battle. So wait, you know how he said like I can't out if I'm another Pokemon trainer? What happens if I tell him no? <laughs> well... I feel like this war would really be pretty terrifying. Like, the second you lock eyes with someone else, they immediately force you to fight them. Think about that in real life. Like, you're just walking in the street and all of a sudden, like, a bodybuilder locks eyes with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you're in trouble. Alright, like, it's not like you have some Pokemon and in real life to just throw out to be like, Hey, well, our Pokemon will fight. It's like, nah. You're going down. It's like, <laughs> but I'm just a little girl. <laughs> I locked eyes with you. <laughs> One hit knockout for no good reason. <laughs> And then he steals half of her money, which is like probably <laughs> birthday money or something. Like, you know, this little girl doesn't like have a job or nothing to like have a continuous income. Or, like, even worse, you know, lunch money for school that day. I'm sorry, you can only get half a meal at the cafeteria for lunch because you got your ass kicked by a random bodybuilder on the street. These things happen. <laughs> That's just how life goes. You gotta learn to deal with that shit. <laughs> Metapod use hard and then string shot. Oh, well, he's supposed to use pattern in between. That is just way too quick. <laughs> ah, another successful fight from a racist. <laughs> How did he not realize that he already ran out of Pokemon whenever he's only got, like, two? He had three. Well then. Don't just so impressive, you crushed all of them. <laughs> That's right. Let's see, I'm feeling a little sadistic today. Oh no, can't I be tackled too? Oh no, two damage, what will I do? Oh, you killed it. <laughs> see, now here's the issue that I take with Pokemon. Like, in the show, or even like if Pokemon were like a real thing, if I knocked a Pokemon out, because that's really what happens, like they just get knocked out, mm -hmm. like, I should be able to throw a Pokeball that would be no resistance, and I could catch whatever Pokemon I want simply by knocking them out. Right. But in this game, if you knock out a wild Pokemon, <laughs> you just leave it there. Why? <laughs> <laughs> For some scavenger to take and eat. It's, it seems like you're really doing that Pokemon like a huge disservice. <laughs> just kind of wasting them. Kind of. Like, I could see if, like, you were fighting it and then, like, you were... Both all, like, all of your Pokemon were pretty weak and, like, you know, it was fairly weak, but it seemed like it was strong enough to, like, finish you off and you decided to, like, run. But, like, the fact that you knock out these Pokemon, and then you're just like, and I'm leaving you, it's like, what? You, you can't just leave it there. Nah. What feels really weird is how all these bug catchers look identical. <laughs> what if they're, like, the equivalent of you know, twins or triplets, but instead it's like whatever number they happen to be in. It's, it's a, it seems to be like something rampant going on within the Pokemon <laughs> world. All the Officer Jennies are like that, all their destroys are like that, all the bug catchers are like that, like... You are one of the most unique people in the game. And there's not a whole lot of unique people, like, you have the gym leaders that are unique. You have, like, the people in your town, to an extent. They look a little unique, a little bit, but not too much. Then you have, like, the Elite Four. And, like, that's it. Everyone else, there's, like, 27 of them. Exactly 27. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, you, have you gone through the entire game and hand counted them? <laughs> of course I haven't. <laughs> You know, that wasn't sand I threw in his face. <laughs> <sighs> but it's a Metapod, they don't know any better. They just keep string shotting you, they're like, I'm gonna make your speed go down. Even though it doesn't matter. No. Not that you're any better, you're like, I'm gonna lower his accuracy in case he decides to attack me. <laughs> on that rare occasion. Gustin, 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 Gustin. This ain't gonna take a long time or nothing. It's not like, you know, he's just constantly hardening. I feel like 
like Harden could be like a really good move at like higher levels. He could, but it's just like the only attack he has is, you know, tackle. Well yeah. But I'm saying like, think about it. Like there are points where like after a few rounds where you're like the Mapbox defense won't go up any further. Right. Where like each attack is dealing like one damage, but before it would deal like 10, 12 damage. That's a pretty significant difference. A bit. So let's say you manage to, like, get it to harden that much at, like, you know, level 99 or whatever. Right. Like, Pokemon that are supposed to be able to, like, wipe out anything on one hit, hit it, and it's like, boop, one damage. You're like, yeah. <laughs> Dick move. This fight will go on longer than you have power points for your moves. I think if you're level 99 and you're using Harden, you're just pretty much dicking with them at that point. Kind of. But, uh, isn't that the whole point? Yeah, a little bit. You ever, like, go through these games and wonder, like, how people who are just, say, you know, like, in the force for a really long time, like, how did they get their income? Well, I mean, it doesn't cost anything to live in the forest, per se. Yeah, but they still have to get that 160 bucks from somewhere. Well, they had it before they came into the forest, and they have apparently never run into each other. Nope. And apparently they don't need it, because it's not like they leave the forest or nothing. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, that kind of adds to, you know, the that idea that I had before, about how, you know, maybe they're just lost in the forest for a really long time, you're just kind of waltzing on by, doot doot doot, not gonna help you guys get out or nothing. These poor, poor people hiding in the forest, and by hiding I mean that they're lost in the forest. <laughs> Because, I mean, if they brought money with them, they obviously had intentions on going to the next town and probably buying food at some point. Yeah, well, I mean, you figure, like, this is a really early Pokemon. Like, I haven't played the more recent ones. But we can only hope that they eventually started, like, being a little more self-aware. Like, they weren't just, like, static positions. Like, I will stand here forever. It's like, I mean, you just like wander around like it's not a big deal. I mean obviously not like far, but like have like two or three locations that you travel between. <laughs> Something. Yep. You still want me to leave, do they? You know, this is exactly what happened to all of them. They learned the trick that if you just stand still, you don't run into Pokemon. Nope. That would only work if the Pokemon were, like, standing still exactly where they were the whole time. In real life, yes, but, like, in the game, if you just stand there, you'll never be in a fight. Ever. <laughs> Until someone walks by and they see you and they're like... You! You're an existing person who I assume has Pokemon. Let's kick the shit out of each other. Indeed. Many Pokemon live only in the forests. And caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Oh, not, thank you, thank you. Not if I have cheat codes. <laughs> We're in a new town. The color scheme just changed. <laughs> yep, now everything is gray and depressing. Wait, nope, no, nope, probably should heal myself. How, m how much money do I got? Okay, I think I'll survive. I mean, it's, it's kind of free to heal. This is like universal healthcare for free. <laughs> uh, just a suggestion, Obama. <laughs> Inconvenience in life? Blame Obama. Well, thank you, Nurse Joy. That's not mean or nothing.